Welcome to International Medical Call TV. Today we will look at five sexual transmitted diseases which you can't prevent yourself by using a condom. And some of these sexual transmitted diseases are asymptomatic, means they are not shown any sign or symptom. And you can go and do a sex with anybody that has a such kind of these diseases without knowing that person he has those kind of diseases which you can't prevent yourself by using a condom. Today in this video, I'm going to give you some prevent measures that can help you to stay far away from getting such kind of infection which you can't prevent yourself by using a condom. And uh, if this is the first time that you have come to this YouTube channel, please you should help us and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you won't miss out in our upcoming educating educated videos. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, today we will look at five sexual transmitted diseases which you can't prevent yourself from infecting them by using a condom. Basically, the functions of condom is to prevent a semen from entering into the female genitalia. By stopping this one, it can prevent you from both pregnancy and the tons of sexual transmitted diseases. When a condom use properly and consistently it is effective in preventing of such kind of STI such as chlamydia, hepatitis B and C, gonorrhea and syphilis. But those diseases that you want to discuss in this video, they prove that condom it is a useless. The number one is herbs. If a person have a half at the groin or pelvic or any place which isn't covered by the condom during a sex, the transmission it is a guarantee. I am recommending you to abstain from a sex when you are diagnosed with herpes because it can decrease the chance of spreading the virus to your partner. Although it can be transmitted when there is no any visible lesion. The number two is human papilloma virus. This is the most common sexual transmitted diseases which can't be prevented by using a condom. If you are sexually active, you can infect it with it at some point of your life. Some stress can cause a bad loss and others don't. That is why most of the people don't know they have a human papilloma virus. And this type of diseases, it is a disease that can be spread from one person to another, even through a contact from skin to skin. That is why you can get it no matter how you will use a condom in order to prevent yourself. The so number three is molluscum. This is a virus that manifests a tiny little bone on a skin. It is not familiar to sexual transmitted infections because it is not causing a long-term health problem. It is typically asymptomatic rather than appearance of a tiny little bone on a skin. It is a skin disease that is transmitted between kids to another and uh, people usually see it as a sexual transmitted disease. Women may notice a molluscum on it is bulb and the other don't. That is why you can go and do a sex with a woman without knowing whether she has such kind of disease or not because I told you this disease it is asymptomatic meaning that it is not shown any sign and symptoms sometimes. The number four is pubic lice. Pubic lice isn't a super common anymore because people are grown now. And if you are rocking a pool bush, you can catch it from infected person because the lice live in the hair and the leg yuck, there. When it comes to the prevention of pubic lice, condom it is useless and it can't do anything to you. The last one it is a suplice. Suplice present as a pin and around a so called a kangli, but sometimes it is not a pimple. And the condom can't prevent you from this kind of sexual transmitted diseases, but it depends from where so it is located. This is the end of the video, but don't forget that that is one thing that I gotta tell you. What I wanna tell you is that if you have a multiple sex partners or your partner might have a multiple sex partners, it is absolutely crucial to get tested regularly. Importantly, given the fact some men and women are asymptomatic when they have a sexual transmitted infection. 
If you are highly sexual active with multiple partners, you need to get it tested every three to six months. And if you want an initiated with sexual contact with a new partner, you have to ask her when did you get it tested to make sure that you haven't do a sex with a someone that have a sexual transmitted infection. And you can ask them to show you that any clinical investigation which is proving that they are healthy and safe and they don't have any sexual transmitted infection. This is the end of this video. If you find it educative and helpful, make sure you like, comment and share it with your friend. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel.